The BC Coroner's Service confirms that a human foot has washed up on the shores of BC. It was found on the Gonzales Beach in Victoria in July. It's the 16th foot to be found along the province's coast since 2007, and the Coroner's Service is now investigating. All the feet, if you've noticed, have, have washed up in running shoes. They're not washing up in a pair of flip-flops or a stiletto. They're in running shoes. Here at Vancouver's False Creek, a left foot in a sneaker was found in 2011. The right foot surfaced in 2012. They were both traced back to a man who went missing in 2010, according to the BC Coroner's Service. A criminologist says she's not surprised another foot was found because BC's waters are so popular with swimmers and boaters. I think most of these people are people who have um, perhaps fallen off a boat. Um, jumped off a bridge. People will deliberately enter the water to commit suicide um, or maybe washed from the shore when they're walking along. The other 15 feet all belong to people who went missing as far back as 1985. The RCMP says they don't suspect foul play and that the feet naturally detached from the body while decomposing. Anderson, who studied how pig carcasses decompose in the Salish Sea, says that makes sense. We have shown that um, a body in the Strait of Georgia area of the Salish Sea can be completely skeletonized within three to four days, depending on the season and the depth. A marine biologist says the type of shoe the feet are often found in, buoyant running shoes, help to preserve the human remains from scavenging creatures in the sea. They will eat all the software, all the body that basically is available. But what happened with the foot of a person that have like a sneaker or tennis or running shoes, Basically, that's a, a floating device. So once it's disattached from the, from the body, that will go to the surface and will float. Alava says he's heard of shoes with human remains washing up in other coastal cities as well, and it speaks to how plastic pollution remains in the oceans. Today, the many plastic are used to preserve food items, to preserve organic matter, or to preserve other kind of material, like, like styrofoam, similar to that kind of plastic that can help to preserve right, the, the, the tissues in the food. This the latest foot is the first reported to the coroner's service since 2018, but the experts say it won't be the last. In Vancouver, Sarah Chu, City News.